Here we have the tale of Ron and Jeremy, two rivals turned partners. Let us watch as it falls out. But before we begin, let me introduce you folks to an oligopoly market structure, which is a type of market that Ron and Jeremy are currently operating in. In an oligopoly, there are only a small amount of sellers selling identical or differentiated products, just like how Ron and Jeremy are selling similar drinks. Secondly, each seller in an oligopoly has enough market power to have an impact on other firms. The producers become mutually interdependent. Third, there are high barriers to entry, which make it difficult for new firms to enter into the market. Also, firms in an oligopoly may collude to set a price or output level for a market in order to maximize profits. Phew! Now that that's over with, let's get back to the action. It is at this point that Ron has come up with the idea to maximize profit. He is going to talk to Jeremy and they will agree upon a limited output. Jeremy, you gotta talk right now. No, no, Ron. You see, I'm busy. You see, you count this money? Come on, man. Come on, whoa, 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 what's the point of this? What's the point of dragging me all the way over here? Okay, just listen. I was checking through my books, and I noticed that we can be making a lot more money. Uh, I think I'm interested. If we both limit how much we produce, the prices of our beverages will rise, thus maximizing our profit. I can't, I can't back you in that, Ron. Okay. Let me think about this. Yo, Ron, it's Jay. What's up, Jay? Let's go. Alright. Our two friends have just unknowingly entered into a collusive agreement. We know this as a cartel. Agreements like this are usually illegal, but they don't care. They just want the money. These two competitors jacked up their prices, and the consumers are still buying. What fools these mortals be? You know, Ron, all these years competing, I think you made the best decision of your life. It's brilliant, isn't it? Hey, bro, I'm gonna go to Blake. All right. My buddy Jeremy, I just realized something. If he produces more output, he will get more profit. And since Ron isn't here, he's going to take an elite somewhere in the bathroom. Ron has no idea. And Jeremy will make as much money as possible. His main goal, like every other savage. Yo. This tactic is known as cheating. As more and more output is produced, these competitors will end up with less and less profit. Up until I deal. Well, fine. There's no deal. It's better off. All right, let's not collude. Well, there you have it. Cartel will never work in the long run. Can't trust anybody out here. 
Well, that's it for the tale of Ron and Jeremy. Running through the six. Running my through woes. It's woes it's bro. You don't got woes. Right yeah, right next door. I got woes. Shit, this is my woe right here. Yeah, I'm his woe. <laughs> <laughs>